So I just want to say a few things about dealing with equations in one variable. These are equations, you're used to this stuff. You've seen things like x plus 5 equals 9, and you know you're going to solve this by subtracting the 5 from both sides. Or maybe you'll have a multiplication, 2x equals 8, and you would solve that by dividing both sides by 2. Well, you might have to do a combination of things. You might have something like 2x plus 5 equals 11, in which case we'll subtract the 5 first from both sides, and then we're going to divide both sides by 2. Okay, now you can take that process and we can end up with somewhat more complicated problems, but which really deal with the same thing. So here I've got 5 times the expression x minus 3 equals 4 times the expression x minus 2. And all you're going to do is get rid of parentheses. So we would distribute the 5 across this x minus 3, distribute the 4 across the x minus 2, and then you're going to combine like terms. You're going to have some x terms and some constants. And you're going to basically work your way down into a fairly simple problem that you can solve, like some of those ones I showed you just before. There are going to be some with fractions, okay? And I know nobody likes fractions, but these really aren't that hard. All you're going to do is find the lowest common denominator. Remember, if something doesn't have a denominator, you can think of it as having a 1. And then multiply everything by the lowest common denominator. So in this example, the lowest common denominator, if I've got 2s, 3s, and 1s, the lowest common denominator would be a 6. I'd multiply x over 2 by 6. I'd multiply x over 3 by 6 x over 1 would be multiplied by 6, 3 over 1 would be multiplied by 6, and that's going to reduce it into something with no fractions at all. For example, this 6 times x over 2, since I can divide the 6 by a 2 and the 2 by a 2, it's just going to become a 3x, and so on. Now, the nice thing about this, and this is true, I guess, of just about any time you're solving an equation, is whatever answer you get, you can plug it back into the original equation and make sure that your answer works. So please be sure you check your answers before you look at the answer sheet. Okay? Um, if you have any problem with the idea of dealing with fractions, go back and look at some of the videos in the Math 061 or Math 067 section or in the fractions section of the website and make sure you understand how to deal with fractions when you've got an equation. Okay? I guess that's all I have to say about that. Take care.